15 a.m. later start here to the live ship. We got eight total orders going out the door, and it is an even Steven for Poshmark for eBay. We're going to ship all these orders out here on the live. I also have two giveaways to ship out today, too. I was supposed to ship these out yesterday, and I forgot. So we got 10 packages to ship out. We got some work to do. What's up, Monster Joe? Thank you for the gifts, Trisha. Appreciate the dogs and the corn. Is that a corn dog? Thank you for the heart me. Good morning, Brianne. Hope you're doing well. Shetty's in the house. Appreciate everybody taking some time out of their day to hang out a little bit with me. So I haven't talked about this at all, actually, but we've had uh, some wildfire. Well, a well, there's a wildfire that's really close to us here. It's about six miles down the road uh, as far as like the, to drive to it at six miles away. As the crow flies, it's probably like four and a half, five miles from us. So last I checked, it was 430 acres, 5% contained. So a pretty significant forest fire here in the mountains, uh, just a little bit east of us. So we haven't really, I haven't talked about it much because this the way the wind's been blowing. We haven't been getting a lot of the smoke from it, but uh, it has definitely been getting some smoke down to the south of us. And then yesterday, the wind was going north. Um, and the, and the inch, it is a little bit scary, yeah, for sure. Um, good morning, Mother Nature Show. Welcome. We got our friend from London in the house over on YouTube. Appreciate having you. Uh, but yeah, it's still not affecting us much today. But interesting story. I was coming home yesterday. I took the long way home yesterday. I was like, I want to see if I can get a vantage point of the fire. And I drove up kind of the back way to our house up to the top of this mountain. And as I get to the top of it, uh, there was actually a brush fire like, in someone's backyard. And it was pretty significant. So there was when I went by the first time, there was only three total fire like vehicles that were there, just like the small ones. Hey, Katie, by the way, hope you're well. Oh, we're, we'll be good. I'm sure we'll be good. Thank you. Thank you. So they're, they're working on it. They're working hard on containing it. But um, it's a good five, I'd say as the crow flies, it's probably four and a half to five miles away from us. But anyway, this brush fire is like a mile, maybe just over a mile from the house as I was coming home. And I was like, holy crap. And it just had started. There was three response vehicles. So I came home. I told Kim about it. I was like, all right, I'll just throw on like a new pair of shoes. I'm like, I'll go up there and see if I can help out. I don't know if there's anything I can do, but there was like nobody there to like do anything. So I was like, I'll I don't know, maybe I can do something. So I went up there. By the time I got back, there was 15 vehicles, like fire trucks, uh, like the big fire trucks, fire engines, uh, all kinds of National Forest Service people. So I guess the good news is, is there is a fire down the street. So all these uh, response crews are in the area. Like it probably, it's like a 10 minute drive uh, to get there to this like little brush fire from where the big fire is. So I have a feeling that they put it out pretty quickly um, because there was just so many. I mean, there's literally 15 vehicles there in a, uh, about 10 minutes after it started. So I think that one's out. It's like a matchstick, though, around here. It's not going to take much for new fires to pop up like that. Um, the wildfires, um, it's not typical this time of year that we'll get wild, wildfires because we typically get a good bit of rain this time of year. Um, but there was a year 20, I think it was 20, let me think 2016. I think it was 2016 where this whole area, I mean, West Virginia, Kentucky, Western North Carolina, Georgia, South Carolina. I mean, there was something like, I don't know, 50 or 60 fires. If I remember right, it was really, really dry. Um, that was like late September into October, but there was fires everywhere. Um, there's a few fires in other places. There's another one further West in Cherokee. In the national forest there is a fire i believe in kentucky and i think there's one in like west virginia happening too it's just really really dry and we're no rain in the forecast uh this week and we're really lucky though that brush fire that started in our neighborhood literally like a mile away from here yesterday that i saw it was it wasn't windy yesterday which is really good and it's not that it's kind of just a slight breeze today but that's the thing if you get the wind with warm, it's warm today too. You get the wind with the warm temperatures in drought conditions. That's crazy. Is your house made of bricks or wood? Um, it's like it's a trailer. I don't know what is that. Um, I'm not worried. I'm not even. I'm not thinking about them. That we're not really worried about that kind of thing. We had one last year in the backside of our mountain. Scary stuff indeed. Yeah, I'm not like scared. Everything's cool. Like I didn't like want to share it like that. That's why I don't like talking about this stuff. You guys get all worried. There's nothing to worry about. We're all good. I appreciate your concern. That's sometimes why I don't talk about this stuff. People get all crazy. It's fine. Everything's good. Thank you for the gifts. I appreciate it. That's all I was doing it for. I was just trying to get some TikTok gifts. Let's ship out some orders. Uh, first person in the chat that says eBay or Poshmark will start there and we'll get ripping for eBay for Poshmark. Even Steven, it is a tie. 
eBay. I saw that first. Thank you, Kit Kats. We'll get you going. Hope you're doing well this morning. But an Oasis is in the house. Melanie's in the house. Amanda's in the house. What were your what were your sales yesterday? Eight sales going out the door. Hope yours were good too, Aaron. I want to hear about your sales. What did you sell? What did you find yesterday? I want to hear all about it. All right, eBay first. We got a Gitman Brothers shirt. Let me know down below in the chat. Do you know this brand? Gitman Bros. Gitman Bros. They kind of make like a lot of dress shirts. This one's a short sleeve shirt. Gitman Bros. Let me know why or end down below in the chat. You know that one. This one sold on a best offer for $18 plus $5.95 shipping. I paid five bucks for it at a thrift store. It took a, three weeks to sell on this. Three weeks to sell. It's going out to Noel. Thank you, Noel. Handwritten. Thank you, Noel. A couple of you already know it. C, nice. Sold an Allen Flosser Paisley. Nice. Love to hear it. No sales yesterday for me, but really need to get back to listing more daily. I feel it. Sorry that you didn't have any sales yesterday. You too. Thank you. Found me two Tommy Bahama Relax shirts. One with the one with the dollar signs. Like it has a dollar side print on it. I'm confused. I've never seen one like that. This is going on a 9 by 12 poly mailer. It's going to ship USPS first class. Or sorry, first class. Ground advantage. They changed it like four months ago, Chris. Let's go. In you, do, do. What's up, Chemo? Chemo in the house. Gitman Brothers. Not a big sale here. Five dollars and eighteen plus shipping. So buyers all in for twenty three ninety five. Call it twenty four bucks. We'll get this shipped out. We're gonna print this label right through eBay. Yes, dollar signs in the back, and it says "Relax." It's just money. That's awesome. That's really cool. I like that shirt. They'll sell really well with like the big embroideries on the back. So the pair of distress Billy Fry Billy boots for eighty nine. They were pretty worn too. Nice. Fry boots are like always money. That's like one of those things. Always, 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 they're worth money. All right, this is going to go at a 12 ounce rate. It's going to be $5.33. It's going to Long Beach, California, clear across the country from Asheville to California. Let's do a roll call real quick. We haven't done this in a little while. Let me know what state you're from down below in the chat. What state? What state are you in, I should say? What state are you in? I'm from New Hampshire, but I've lived a bunch of places. I'm in North Carolina now, Asheville. What state? Let's get a roll call going here. Four sales. Nice blended oasis. Really hard to take pictures of 100% silk without it looking faded. Interesting. The Philippines, Missouri, Maryland, North Carolina, West Virginia, Texas, Washington in the house. Thank you, Noel. Noel? 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 Appreciate the order either way. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. We went down to TK Maxx yesterday. Got nothing. A lot of Gantt has it. Something to do with the Ralph Lauren brand. Went down to T. K Max today got nothing. A lot of Gantt has it something to do with the Ralph Lauren brand. I don't know if I understand that message 100. I think you went to TJ Max and you said something about Ralph Lauren. I'm confused. Uh, Puerto Rico in the house, South Tejas, Illinois by St. Louis. Nice, just across the river there. Wisconsin in the house, Michigan, Washington, Texas, West Virginia, North Carolina. My fellow North Carolinian in the house. Oregon is also in the house. I like this. Where were you hiding yesterday, Mother Nature Show? Yeah, we were looking for you, buddy. Uh, next up on eBay, we got a pair of cool pants. I got these off Whatnot. They sold super, super fast. I don't remember how much I paid for them because I don't write down my individual uh, buy costs and stuff that I buy on Whatnot. But these cool pants sold. Uh, we listed these Saturday, and they sold yesterday. So what's that? Three days for a pair of cool pants. These are called the Confident Air Pants. By the way, uh, cool pants all have a style number. So on the inside tag, if you look at, uh, if you like kind of flip around in the little tags, you'll see finally find a style number. You can just Google that cool style number and that'll tell you exactly what the model is. So this is a Confident Air and people look for those specific mod models from cool. The one that I like from cool is the Radical in case you're interested. That's my favorite model. These ones are cool too. What's up, Casey? Good morning to you. Uh, I had to work in the bar. Someone was sick. Bummer. Right, so these are going to go out at a, whew, these are going to go at a 15 ounce rate. So they're going to go USPS first class. I'm going to put these in. I'm going to put this in a 12 by 15 polymer. Probably just fit a little bit better. These are going out to Christopher. Thank you, Christopher. $39 plus $8.95 shipping. That was my full asking price. Sold in three days. I love flipping cool. Love the pants especially. Especially this time of year too. Size 35, 34 in case you were wondering. 
Thank you, Kimo. Good morning. Remember, I'm going to have a, a whatnot show tonight, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. You are invited. I would love to have you at the show. These are going to go USPS ground advantage, 15 ounce rate. It's going to be $6.22. They're going up to Wisconsin. I think we have Wisconsin in the house too. Did I miss Christopher's background story? I don't know what you're asking. I have five orders to pack now. Nice mother nature show. Let's go. You got $20 so I can buy something. You got it, man. You got it. Thank you so much. Next one out the door. We got a foot joy brand new with tags. I picked this up retail arbitrage sold for full asking price. $49 plus plus five ninety five shipping. I picked this up for $30 plus sales tax at uh, TJ Maxx or one of those places. Foot joy. It's a size large in case you were wondering. This is going to Scottsdale, Arizona. Scottsdale, Arizona, the state that they don't change the freaking times. I need to move to that state. Foot Joy is going out to Paul. Thanks, Paul. You sometimes make up stories about people that buy from you. I sometimes do. You're right. I had five eBay orders yesterday. I'm seeing an increase in my sales. I'd love to hear that. Found Grace and Peter Mar, Summer Comfort, and Johnny O. Oh, yeah. I like all those. Very nice. Very nice. So with this retail arbitrage, when I buy things like this, I bought a whole bunch of these Foot Joy golf polos. And I paid up for them a little bit. $30 is honestly too much to be paying for the Foot Joy golf polos. But my thought process is, is a lot of those are going to sell between now and Christmas because people are looking for brand new with tag stuff for gifts. So I'm okay to kind of wait around a little bit on these. And I listed this at uh, $49 plus $5.95 shipping, and I'm not taking offers on them. So I'm just going to sell them at full price, and that's it. Just looking for full price buyers. And I do that with a lot of items these days, but this one did sell for full price. Shipping label is going to cost me $5.17 to ship it all the way to Arizona. Grammy Pammy is in the house. What's up? Brant is in the house. What is up? Thanks, everyone, for joining. Welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday. Remember Whatnot Show tonight, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. I'd love to have you. There's a link in the profile if you're new to Whatnot. You can join with that link. It'll say $15 for free. Click that link, sign up, and you can walk into tonight's show with $15 in your pocket. No strings attached, though. You can use that in anybody's show. I'd love to have you come hang out tonight. Either way, get your free 15 bucks. Why not? It's free. Oh, yes, and Foot Joey 2 stocked. Nice. What's up, Big E? Thank you for the gifts. I appreciate the gifts. If I missed any gifts, I appreciate those too. I see the dogs coming in, the heart me's. Thank you, thank you. I booked a cabin in the Blue Ridge Mountains for December. Nice Kit Kats. Where uh, where specifically is it? Blue Ridge Mountains is a big area. Where, where are you going to be? I'm excited for your trip. Our last eBay order, then we're going to pivot over to Poshmark. We got four Poshmark orders. We get a Royal Robins jacket. I picked this up at the bins. I think it cost me like 350 because the bins go by the pound. So 350 Royal Robins. It's a long rain jacket. Um, this will probably get returned. I got like a bunch of freaking questions from this uh, from this buyer. Just like a bunch of annoying, like silly little questions about snaps and this, that, and the other thing. So I'd say there's at least a 50-50 chance that this gets returned. Anywho, this sold to Laura. Thank you, Laura. Thanks for all your thoughtful questions on this order. Appreciate you. Uh, this is going to go out priority. Let's see if we can get this in a padded flat rate. I think this is going clear across the country. I think it's near the big parkway. Nice. Um, do you know what, is there a town it's in or something? Or is it just, tell me more, tell me more. Thank you for the gifts, Biggie. I appreciate that. Thank you, South Texas, for the dog. Really nice of y'all. See if we can get this in a padded flat rate envelope because I think... Where did it say it was going? Yeah, it's going to Washington. So if this goes like regular priority, it's going to cost me like 12 bucks or more. So we're going to get this in a padded flat rate. It's going to work. It'll be $8.30 in this padded flat rate wherever it goes in the country. So in this case, this is going to weigh over two pounds. So this is going to be, let's see what it would cost priority. Ground advantage would be 1143. Uh, regular priority 
would be $17.90 on this package. So we're going to do padded flat rate for freaking sure. It's going to save us a bunch of money. Over three dollars. It's going to save us three dollars and thirteen cents, just over the ground advantage price. Added flat rate for the win, y'all. Totally fits. Get this label printed out here. I like Brenda. It was a hot tub. Nice. I hung out and uh, Kim and I went over to our friend Trace's yesterday. What's up, Trace? If you're watching, by the way, we went over to Trace and Naomi's house. Trace made chili. We drank spiked apple cider, like warm spiked apple cider. And we sat in his uh, new hot tub. Good, clean farm. Thank you, Laura. Please don't return that. I have a feeling you're going to, but... What do my Macari stuff still stay till they sold then not listing there anymore? I don't blame you. You know my feelings about that platform. Chris, I'm updated Mac OS. Do you feel my pain? It just takes a little while, right? Uh, I needed to get the minimum one that Chrome still supports. I need to get the minimum one. Uh, good luck, brother. I'm not exactly sure what we're talking about, but I think you're upgrading. We're updating. I don't know. Interesting. Riveting conversation, Andrew. Thank you, brother. Switching over to, uh, let's do some giveaways to ship out first. So Christina won our giveaway on our live stream. We live streamed uh, on TikTok on Friday. We launched the dark roast and Kim and I taste tested five different dark roasts and we chose the dark roast that is going to be the black mountain dark roast. And Christina won one of our giveaways. Where'd it go? Here it is. I was supposed to ship this out yesterday and I forgot. So Christina won this brand new dynamite tumbler. I freaking love this thing. So it's a little 11 ounce tumbler. Look at that thing. With the lid, a little slide piece up at the top to keep it warm. 11 ounces dynamite. These are the folks who roast our coffee. So Christina won this. Thank you so much for hanging out there on the live. Showing some support. Christina is a coffee customer too. So we'll get this packed up for Christina. I love this little coffee tumbler. If you make like a really good cup of coffee, that's all you need. Like a little 11 ounce, maybe a nice little espresso in there. And it fits in the cup holder, which is sweet too. Thank you, Christina. I don't know if you're hanging out this morning, but pretty cool. Chris live thrift today. I'm not going to live thrift today. Sorry. Oh, I love it. There is a 32 ounce one available. I don't know if there's a 32 ounce one available. That's a lot of freaking coffee. Do you really drink 32 ounces of coffee? Thank you, Christina. Excited that you won this. That was one of our wins. We had another winner on Friday. Who won the other item? I can't remember it. Hold on. Megan won. That's right. We gave away our, our Gator Press. Not ours, but a Gator Press. We shipped that out to Megan. Should have already arrived, actually. I used to when I was in construction. Gotcha. Just a big old tanker full of coffee. What's your favorite platform to sell on? I love selling on Poshmark. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. Now, now I like selling on Whatnot. I'd love to have you join my Whatnot tonight, by the way. There's a link in the profile, and it's the same name, Chris at Peak, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We got a ton of awesome stuff. Everything starts at a buck. All right, Christina, let's get this shipping label out to you. So here's one of our giveaways from Friday. Thanks for supporting my biz. Bye, Grammy Pammy. How's your whatnot doing? It's doing great. I appreciate you asking. I hope you have a good day. It sounds like you're leaving, Grammy Pammy. The Poshmark fees hurt me a little. Yeah, but when you add up all the fees from eBay, it's actually not that much different. So we'll, we can talk that through in a second here. Let me just print this out. 
So eBay, it ends up being what, 12.9% plus 30% first transaction. Poshmark's at 20%. So that sounds like it's a lot different, right? But I list everything with promoted fees at between two and 6% on eBay. So that adds to it. Then when you consider also that eBay charges you that fee based on the sale pr price plus the shipping cost plus the sales tax, that's what they're charging the 12.9% plus 30 cents on, right? So when you do that math, all of a sudden, my eBay fees end up being just about 20%, between 18 and 20%, and Poshmark's 20%, and they only charge 20% on the actual sale price. It's not on sales tax, it's not on shipping on top of that. So, and I can use all free USPS priority shipping materials on any order on Poshmark, and it ships really fast to the customer because it's priority. So I don't promote Christopher. You sell used clothing on eBay if you're not, promoting on ebay you're leaving a lot of money on the table i'm just gonna be honest with you this i mean i've been saying that for years i mean i'd say maybe four years ago i said like ah, you know you might consider uh promoting if you're selling on ebay but if you're selling used clothing on ebay and that's your business and you're not promoting you're leaving a lot of money on the table um, that's been my stance for at least three years now don't start with me. I get enough with David. I, I mean, it's just, it's pure math. If you look at the sell through rate on most of these items that you have listed on there. Uh, yeah. I mean, just do the math. You're smart people. You can do it. Uh, if you're penny pinching over those little percentages, um, you're just going to have a lot of stuff sitting in your inventory for a long time. I can't get sales on posh. I need to get a robot. You do. If you don't have a posh bot, um, then your posh marks probably not going to be super valuable for you. Thank you, Christina. We got your, three dynamite insulated tumbler coming out to you. Thank you so much for supporting my little coffee business over here. It's a lot of fun for me. I hope it's fun for you too. So I have it boom on our AWM. So the username kind of works. Good morning, Ruth. Don't start with me. I just don't know what to get into this time. I just don't know what to get in this time of posh, not controversy posh. Okay. Uh, we got a Poshmark order going out the door. We got a, this is a Roan brand new with tags. Let me know down below in the chat. Do you know the brand Roan? It's R-H-O-N. I'll show you the tag. That's the brand new with tags right there. Roan, R-H-O-N. This is the rain hoodie, little gray camo piece here. That's going out on Poshmark. So guess what? I don't have to use my own shipping materials. I can just use this free tie back mailing envelope usps priority beautiful thing this is going out to matthew thank you matthew appreciate it we are really slaves to ebay these days with the fees uh, i don't agree with that comment get out of here with that comment mother nature show. what are you talking about what are you talking about mother nature show you know how hard it is to build up your own website and drive traffic on a regular basis to your own website and do your yeah like do all the work that comes with it like, crazy like to, to me 12.9 percent plus 30 cents per, per transaction to have i mean millions of active users that are searching the platform on a regular basis i'll take that all day instead of trying to do my own thing you're crazy what's the difference on having a posh bot and auto posher auto posher is a posh bot which bot to get because everyone is mad at auto posher but also supposed to release good new feature everybody's always mad about something everyone's complaining about some other thing for why their business isn't performing well y'all know this you've been on social media you've been on reseller social media for long enough to know that people will complain about anything except for their own hustle um so i think yeah people are just looking to point at other things instead of their own thing anyway i picked up this roan hoodie I think I paid 30 bucks for it. Let me just double check that. I might, I might be wrong here. Yeah, I think I paid $30 plus tax. I haven't been writing down my individual buy costs on retail arbitrage stuff. I just enter the whole like Marshalls or the whole wherever I bought it from. Like I just enter the whole price into my cost spreadsheet. I don't like break it down anymore, but I think I paid 30 bucks for it plus sales tax. So my profit on this is probably going to be somewhere around nine bucks. So nothing crazy, but again, brand new with tags. Uh, easy seller this time of year as we get closer and closer to Christmas. Those new, uh, those, 
those uh, new attack stuff are going to be popping off the shelves. We are really just had a sale on eBay. Nice Kit Kat. Congratulations. Flip has a free posh bar. Nice. Chris dropping hard truth bombs today. Yes, problem fix it. Simple. Got my first return coming. Apparently the sweater has been shrunk. Bummer. I hate that. Part of the business though, Angela and Michelle. I'm sorry that you're experiencing that, but you're going to experience it a whole lot more as you grow your business and it'll be fine. You'll learn to just be like, move right on and go on to the next one. Uh, this next one, this is actually kind of an uh, interesting one. So this is a Starbucks mug. It's sold for $12. I've had this for a couple of years in my store. Um, so long that I actually lived in Florida when I picked this up. So when we were packing, I had a bunch of um, like glassware items that I was like, cool, we need to move these, but glassware items to put them on the pickup truck. Thank you for all the, the blue hearts. Appreciate it. The, I don't know what, why we're doing blue hearts, but I appreciate it. So to, I was like, well, I got to pack this up to, to move it, to put it on the moving truck. So I might as well pack it up like it's ready to ship. So this has been ready to ship sitting out in my garage. It's all packed up, ready to go. Um, so that's what I did with some of my like breakable stuff. I just packed it up like I was going to ship it. So, cause I had to pack rather than packing it up in a box and taking it out all out of a box. Why not just pack it up that one time? So Starbucks mugs, mug sold for 12 bucks on Poshmark. We don't use the S word around here unless we sell it. Cause honestly the coffee is just not good. And most of it was roasted in, in 2022 at this point. So sorry, but that's the honest truth there too. We'll get the shipping label on here. So nice and easy. I just cut up in the tape. I put in my thank you card. There might already be a thank you card in there too. I might've packed it that way. Who knows? So Marie gets two thank you cards. Starbucks mugs going out to Marie. Thank you. Not making a kill in there. Bought it for two bucks at a thrift store. Sold it for 12 bucks. Buyer pays shipping. Blue collar. Thank you for the corn brother. Oh, I was raided. Cool. Oh, that's a raid from blue collar. Were you on this long, dude? I was in your live at like eight. 30 or something like that this morning were you live that whole time let's go welcome to everybody from uh from blue collars live if you're joining for the first time i typically go live 9 30 a.m eastern time uh during the weekdays but went a little bit later did some other stuff switched up my routine a little bit today another sale this was a quick sale i listed this uh, about 10 days ago it's a uh, ralph warren 100 linen uh these i would typically sell for around like the $29 mark is what I would typically list this for. It's a long sleeve, size medium, green stripe, 100% linen, usually around 29 plus shipping. But this had a stain on the chest, so I listed it for, I don't know, 15 bucks, and I think it sold for a best offer at $12. So it took 10 days to sell, flawed item. I noted it in the item description, in the item title, and a close-up photo of the flaw with a pointer pointing right at it. I very rarely get returns on flawed items. I price them at the bottom of the market, and I'm super, super clear that they're flawed. You can rate on TikTok now. Not really. You can just send your people over like manually. Uh, I like to do it's auto offers because you have to drop the shipping and I know there's a workaround. I need a shower. Nice. Uh, still trying to figure out shipping on eBay. Apparently I shipped in the wrong box. Did you use a priority package and ship it with a non-priority label? That's an, a common early mistake. You won't make the mistake again. Uh, it's probably worth a shot anyway. Ooh, okay. I got it. I just sold a Steve Austin elite figure for 1999 pounds, whatever that is. That's nice. Glad you got that sale out the door. Thank you, Samuel. We got your very cheap linen shirt coming your way. I wouldn't have bought this if I saw the flaw. Sometimes you make mistakes. This one's out the door. It didn't cost me money. It wasn't the best use of my time, but it's still sold. And usually my flawed items sell really quick because I price them at the bottom of the market. So it get, they get a lot of eyes on them. 100% agree some listings could use promotion, but again, 100% know how many items do not need any promotion at all to sell. Several factors we all need to figure out. Yes, Kimo, you are 100% right in your, your uh, thinking that thing through. But if you have a policy where you're um, where you're not promoting any of your items on eBay and you're selling used clothing, you are 100% leaving money on the table. And yeah, I, I mean, I would address it right now. I would address, I wouldn't let 24 hours go off the clock before addressing that and get some sort of promotion strategy together. Whether it's promoting all your items, some of your items, whatever, if you're not promoting at all, and that's your policy right now, I would address it today, especially right now, because we're in Q4 sales season. You really want to get some of that stuff moving, dude. 
I say that out of love. I have a great profit weekend. Also going to hit a thousand listings this week. Let's go second life. That's awesome. Good for you. You got a pair of true religion jeans. I picked these up at a thrift store for five bucks. Uh, these took two weeks to sell. I got an, I listed them for $49. They sold for $41 on Poshmark, $41 buyer pay shipping profit on these after everything is $27 and 80 cents on these true religions, Joey super T size 33, 33. I think they're like a boot cut too. Yeah. They're a boot cut. Boot cuts hot right now. Wide leg boot cut. Basically everything that we wore between 1998 and 2002 couldn't be hotter. So these true religions are going out to Matey. Matey, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Mate. These are going to Florida. High Life, Florida. That's down by Miami, right? Thank you for your order, Matey. There is a lid out there for every box. What's up, Vanessa? Thank you. You also going to be making a new, making new thrifting saying sweatshirts coming soon. I love it. Yeah, let me know about those. I can't wait to, I can't wait to check those out. The other thing about flips, it turns itself off even though it's supposed to be continuous. Yeah, I don't really want to comment too much on flip. I'll say I tried flip over two years ago uh, when I was first deciding uh, what was going to be my cross listing solution. I looked at flip, I looked at auto posture, and I looked at Vendu. And I tested each of them out, like I did the free trials for each of them, and I chose Vendu. Um, so I would encourage everybody to do the same thing. Don't listen to any creator. Don't listen to any Yahoo with a beard that goes live and tells you what's the right uh, bot to use. You just got to figure it out. They're all really similar, but they're just going to have different user interfaces. Some people like it. Some people don't. It's just like I would never buy a PC computer. A PC does everything the same as my Apple does. It's the same thing. Right. It does the same thing. It just does it in a different way. And I would never get a PC. And you might feel the same way about Vendu. You might be like, well, shoot, I would never use Vendu because it just doesn't. It just the user interface is just different. Flip just started a clear photo background option too. nice. Vendu has that already. Does Endu work from a phone? I think you're talking about Vendu. Yes. Vendu has a mobile app. Uh, you can do it on desktop or you can do it on mobile app. Hey there. Sorry, I'm late. Can you start again? Absolutely. What's up, Jay? How are you, buddy? Uh, been up with a sick child all night. Poor kiddo. Poor kiddo. Poor kiddo. Sending healing vibes. This is going out to Trisha. Let's check this out. So this is a burlap bag, which holds 150 pounds of green coffee beans. So fresh coffee beans before they're roasted. So Dynamite gave this bag to me. Let's see where these ones, this is actually came from Honduras. So 150 pounds of coffee uh, came in this bag from Honduras. I don't sell any coffee from this, uh, from this particular farm, but this is one of the farms that dynamite gets coffee from. Um, actually, the dark roast, some of the beans, the dark roast is a blend of three different beans. That actually might be from this farm now that I think about it. I think one of them is from Honduras, one of the beans in that blend. But I'll have to double check that. So we'll ship this out to Trisha. Trisha, what are you going to do with the, um, you don't owe me anything. What are you going to do with the bag? I'm just kind of curious. Chris, you got any coffee bogos coming up? Coffee bogos? Um, uh, that's awesome. I'd hang that on the wall. Yeah, well, Trisha, what are you going to do? Mama's tired. I believe it. Didn't you stop using Vendu? I did. Uh, I'm still a big fan of Vendu and would recommend it to people. I used it for two and a half years. I use one shop now. It's just a little bit less sophisticated and it's just about what I need because I'm just doing eBay and Poshmark right now. It also has an auto, the auto delist and relist feature or the auto, um, auto sales detection, which I really like. Buy one, get one. No, no buy one, get one. So I'm going to hang it on my wall. I showed you pics. I thought maybe, I don't know. I'm not known for my memory. Anyway, we'll get this shipped out to Trisha. I'll put this in one of these big old bags here. Let's see. Oh, 
fit right in this one. Trisha, thanks for supporting my tiny little coffee business. Get your handwritten thank you card in there. Above my little coffee station. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, you can show me pictures of your cute little coffee station. I like it. I have one of these from the uh, uh, from the co-op that does the uh, the peak blend, the medium roast. I have one of these bags somewhere. I keep saying I'm going to hang it up, but here we are. Still haven't hung it up. I've had it for months. Facts. All right, let's get this shipped out to Miss Trisha. Thank you, Trisha, for supporting my little coffee business. And by the way, I haven't mentioned it today, but if you get yourself a coffee order in while we're live, I always ship it out during the live with a big dose of gratitude. You can even boss me around for a, a minute or so while I'm packing it up. Uh, we got You can purchase your coffee on TikTok shop, which is if you click my name up above and you go to my profile, about halfway down the profile, you'll see some uh, word the word S-H-O-P, shop. You can click there. You probably got free shipping. You probably got 10% off. My coupons today have been showing me 10% off, which is a good deal. That's sponsored by, by uh, TikTok shop and all orders over $20 are free shipping on TikTok shop. Or you can go to chrisatpeak.com and there's a link for that on Facebook and YouTube just down below. And you can get yourself some rad merch or some delicious coffee. It's roasted fresh every Thursday. You can also pre-order the dark roast. All pre all dark roast pre-orders will ship this Thursday. So it's going to be roasted Thursday and it's going to ship Thursday. And that, that'll be the first batch of Black Mountain dark roast, which Kim and I did a taste test and selected on Friday on the live stream. Let me know down below in the chat. Were you there Friday for the live stream? Was there something that you learned at the live stream too? Just kind of curious. Did you learn something? I always learn a lot every time I show up over at Dynamite. How's Kim's job? It's going well. You said coffee and I started drooling. And yeah, I probably won't add a lot of details. I appreciate you asking Second Life. I probably won't add a lot of details about uh, Kim's job search. It's just very, it's very <clears throat> unnatural for me to talk about somebody else's job search publicly. I was a career coach for uh, more than a decade. And uh, it was really important to me to just like keep everybody's information like that's their own. It's not for my, for me to share. So it's just very, it would be very uncomfortable for me to talk about. I think that's programmed like way too deep inside of me to, to start sharing stuff about that. But it's going good. I could say that much. Yeah, it's her story to tell. I, and I'm not mad that you asked the question. <laughs> it's, not, it's, a, it's a totally reasonable question to ask. I'm just sort of explaining probably my obvious discomfort in answering the question. It's just not very natural for me to talk about somebody else's journey like that. It's very, very uncomfortable. Uh, September, October were super slow for me. And then November has started off really strong. Nice to hear, Caroline. Caroline wants to know, and this can be out to everybody in the chat. We got six people on YouTube and Facebook and 75 over on TikTok. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Let us know. Did anyone else experience like a slow September, October, but they're getting that pickup right now in November like Caroline? Or was it my inventory? It could be a lot of factors. I wouldn't read too much into it, Caroline. I mean, the, the economy isn't really great for regular folk right now. Um, yeah, people don't have the spare money to buy things like they used to. I don't know what kind of stuff that you sell either. Let us know, Caroline, like what kind of inventory that you're selling. Are you drinking Mountain Dew? Absolutely not. I don't drink soda. Headed to Black Mountain Dew Thrift. I drink, uh, this is a sparkling water. Black Mountain Dew Thrift. Which, uh, which spots are you going to go? My friend from Weaverville in the house, Barbara Booty. Uh, no problem. You just really talked about her being laid off. So just, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not, I'm not mad at you. She's doing good. She's got a, a contract job that she's working on. She's been helping out with the business too. And she's running her job search. TikTok is making it hard to find my favorite live goers this morning. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know what you're experiencing. How did you, how did you stop sodas? Oh, I don't know. I just stopped drinking them. I don't know. I haven't drank soda probably in How old am I? It's been at least 15 years, maybe 20 years since I've had, had soda. It's just not part of my life. She's a queen. I picked up halfway through October and I've had a solid November so far. So Jay from Old Chef New Trick says that he's started picking up halfway through October. eBay has gone mad the first few days here. Nice Mother Nature show. I haven't drank soda since I was uh, corn. 
Sodas are so bad for you. Good for you. You're 42, I think. Yes. Got to go make 30 listings. See you guys soon. Nice. Second Life. Thanks for popping in. Have an amazing day to you too. Can't wait to see those um, those merch shirts that you're talking about. I stopped drinking s poppy drinks, cola taste. I stopped drinking poppy drinks, cola tastes like cola. A lot of physical media. Proud of you, Biggie. I don't know what you said, but I'm proud of you. A lot of physical media. Gotcha. Uh, all right. I think we're all shipped out. Is that it? That's it. Let me just check a few things. Thanks for whoever just followed me over on whatnot. I got a new follower over there. Thank you. Uh, Juju B. Thank you for the follow. I do have a whatnot show tonight, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Let's roll this over real quick. I want to show you a couple of pieces. Uh, we'll preview a couple. Let's do, um, we'll make it quick. We'll do five preview items just for tonight, just to show you uh, just stuff that I'm, I'm excited about for tonight. Let's find a few that I think are rad. Okay. Here we go. A couple pieces that'll be available. Everything, remember, starts at $1. So here's a Johnny Was. Johnny Was piece. I forget the size on this. I'll have to double check it. Johnny Was. Look how beautiful that is. 100% silk, like super lightweight. I think this is silk, right? I always load my shows up a week in advance, so sometimes I need to refresh my memory on some of these pieces. 100% silk. Beautiful, lightweight little Johnny Was piece. That's going to start at a dollar. That's one of two Johnny Was pieces tonight. Got a Viore pair of, these are the Ripstop. These are women's size extra large Ripstop pants. Bori, there's that brand right there. Got a Robert Graham on here. You know those. I don't need to show you that. Check this out. Barefoot Dreams. Sweater. This is not a cardigan. It is a pullover. Sorry, my phone was freaking out. It's okay. Caroline Bob's all over it. There you go. Look at this thing. It's kind of like, I don't know what that means when it like kind of goes down on the sides like that, but pullover sweater, super, super soft, barefoot dreams. This is the cozy chick. It's a one size. So it's like a poncho, more of a poncho than a sweater pullover. I want that. Barefoot Dreams, if you know, you know. We got some Travis Matthew. Got a Carhartt Sherpa lined hoodie. Got an Untucket jacket. Got some Lululemon leggings. Got brand new with tag Spanx leggings. Yo, check this out. Brand new with tags. A little piece of fuzz. Brand new with tags. Nike Air men's size large on this. Big Nike Air hit. Crew neck. Awesome piece right there. Brand new with tags. Perfect for Christmas shopping kind of thing. We got some Patagonia, some Patagonia, you know, the same old stuff. Check this piece out. Woo. I'm going to show you one more after the, the this, and that's it. Everything's preloaded on the whatnot right now. Large and in charge. I'd get tangled in that pullover. Ooh, I want that. We got a 2XL Polo Ralph Lauren on this. MSRP, $188. Look at the freaking pony players. 2XL. Three ponies on the front, the number three hit on the side, $188 MSRP. Starts at a buck tonight. This might be one of those ones you want to get your pre-bid in on and get serious about. Starts at a buck. Brand new with tags. Got some Western pieces, some more Lululemon. Got some more North Face. Mountain Hardware, brand new with tags. This is North Face, are you kidding me? More Mountain Hardware. Check out this. Uh, is this the last one I'm going to show you? Yeah. I'm going to commit to it. This is the last one. I do have some nice uh, Aloha shirts, but this is an interesting one. Barry Deed is in the house. I got tangled in that pullover. Greetings from France. Lacoste, men's size 2XL. It's French size 46. Men's tagged 2XL. It's got the crocodile right there. Greetings from France all over with like the surfer dude. These old like French castles and mansions i don't know what you want to call that chalet pretty polo thank you audra i've sold almost that exact same amount over the past four months maybe noticed higher value items selling more in the fall nice katie by the way glad you're having a nice consistent business over there uh so that's a hundred percent cotton but very very lightweight i've never found a piece before like that i got some johnny o coming your way some tommy bahama what is this piece uh, Vintage Deadstock Disney t-shirt. 
I got a couple of Harley t-shirts, some cool ones coming your way tonight, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. I'd love to have you there. If you haven't bookmarked the show, go bookmark the show. There's a link in the profile. You can go to Chris at Peak uh, on whatnot. Just search for Chris at Peak, same name. Tonight, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Everything starts at a buck. Chateau. All right, there you go. Greetings from the Philippines. What's up, Barry D? Uh, thanks, everyone, for hanging out for a little bit. We're all shipped out. Give you a quick little sneak peek of tonight's WhatNot show. I'd love to have you there. If you haven't joined WhatNot, there's a link in my profile for $15 for free if you sign up using that link. I'd love to have you. It's going to be a lot of fun, fast-paced, good stuff. This whole rack is just packed with just fire drill stuff. I couldn't show you everything. Some cool westerns on there, a ton of North Face, ton of Patagonia, a ton of Mountain Hardware, ton of Lululemon, all your favorite stuff. I'd love to have you. All right, I'm going to log off for now. I'll see you tonight, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, over on WhatNot. Have a great day, everybody. Appreciate you hanging out and sharing a little bit of time with me. Peace.